talk about a book you read and found exciting. Please say what book it was, when you read it, what the book was about, and explain why you found it exciting. So members, you have to pay attention to the verb tenses. Found, past tense, verb, read, past tense, was, past tense. So you have to speak using the past tense verbs. Mary Vivian, are you ready for speaking? Mary Vivian? Yes, ma'am. Um, I enjoy reading, and I have read a number of books which are interesting. Today, I would like to talk about an amazing one which I read recently. Its title is Gifted Hands, and it was written by Dr. Ben Cassie, a professor and director of pediatric neurosurgery at John Hopkins uh, Medical Institute. This book, I read it in 2022. The book was about the separation of a joint twins. They were joined behind their, their heads. And the, their mother searched throughout America and could not see any doctor or teams of surgeons that accepted to perform the surgery. But when they met Dr. Ben Carson and his group of surgeons at um, John Hopkins Hospital, they accepted to perform the surgery. Unfortunately, the twins had a very peculiar blood group, AB negative. During the course of performing this surgery, the, the blood in the blood bank went uh, all were drained because the, the twins were bleeding from a very big vessel. But um, in order for them to save the lives of this baby and the mother we, who couldn't let go of the life of any of her babies, the surgeons started donating their own blood, most especially those of them that had that, um, that blood group, the same blood group with the twins. And that was how they were able to save the life of that, the twins. And um, I was quite interested in that book because as a surgeon, for you to be passionate enough to the extent of donating your blood, it means that they are not just into that profession because of the money involved, but in order to save life, which they actually demonstrated by donating their own blood. And finally, I've been able to learn as a medical profession to be empathetic when I am handling a, a patient. And I've equally recommended that book to so many people which have equally read it and have learned a lot from it. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mary Vivian. And Rekha Mam will comment on your speaking. Okay. Mary Vivian is one of the good speakers here in the group. Thank you, Mom. Yes, okay. definitely. So I see today, yes, uh, there were no repetition of words or question statement, which, you know, that is the only common concern that we observe. But today, none. So connectors, conjunction, sentence structure, content, everything in place. So all the very best. Thank you, ma'am. And please, I want to say, say something. You know, we have yes. handled this question before, and it was the guidance you, 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 had, you gave to us that I used. At that time, you told wow. us that when, when, we were talk, when we are asked to talk about a book, that we should, we should talk about the title, the author, characters, time read, and all these things. So, ma'am, please, I will solicit that each time we handle a new topic, just give us a guideline so as to know how to handle it. Thank you so much. I'm grateful. Sure, dear. Definitely. Thank you so much. Okay, so you're going to speak <clears throat> about the cue card, talk about the book you read and found exciting. Please say what book it was when you read it, what the book was about, and explain why you found it exciting. Okay. Firstly, I wanted to uh, tell that I'm not very bookworm kind of person, and I don't, uh, I'm not very fond of reading books. But six months back, my husband brought a gift for me, which was a book about, uh, which was a book about interior designing. The name of the book was Design Remix by Corey Damon. As he knows that I'm very, very fond of interior designing, so he bought that book. And although I'm not interested in reading, so I uh, still I'm I'm not interested. But uh, after after um, looking the title of the book, I just completed the book in very 
few days in short span and i learned so much about about the colors about the harmony and i was so excited and furious that uh, once my book is done so as soon as possible i wanted to implement those, those ideas in my home they were gone through because in that book uh, there was so much about the colors and how those colors affect our mood our personality and um, how it uh, it give us energy so after completing uh, the book i uh, i went to the market i uh, i brought different material to implement those ideas uh, in my uh, home firstly i changed the color of my um, of my sitting area with uh, some refreshing and some greens and then i put some frames and some other changes in my uh, bedroom which brought a Uh, a huge change in my uh, m- mental pers- in my personality and it made me a very it gave me a very good uh, energy because as i i learned in in those articles in in that article that uh, the, the interior designing and the color really affect your personality and your emotions and your mood so i feel that it was really it was really amazing and uh, it was really um impressing after going through those ideas so that's all okay and me. six months ago not six months back no? and it was very impressive okay but rika i'm um, welcome and on your speaking thank you, know, you. yes I'm, i i tried to add all the and a uh, little bit of linkers um, yes, i yes. don't know so i tried to improve a little bit and i hope with your uh, with the help of yours inshallah inshallah i'll be improving inshallah i'll be better within few days so you all because of that you very hard work but definitely i we, have we to work see hard that. yes um in fact we could see that you know we you you have started using so all the but all of this very evident effort so that is good uh, here and there there were a bit of you know grammatical errors like okay. when we talk about you know so is the word which is used when we talk about a result that we have discussed already we mm-hmm. will not end the conversation or the cue card topic using the word so and you know just abruptly end let's not do that any time dear let's okay. have a good finish to it and words like colors there are a lot of other vocabulary that you could be using when it comes to colors you know you could be talking mm-hmm. shade you could be talking about yes. different bright light pale whatever different colors that you have so there we thought you know we could have some more lexical resources in place okay and connectors is- yes you have been making an attempt so all the very best for that thank you so much thank you thanks a lot okay i have a question that uh, during our speaking test uh, like uh, like the cue cards uh, are are given before our um, discussion so is this or uh, is the exa- examiner is going to ask the question by himself or should we uh, are we going to make the story by our by ourselves the whole story i have the little bit excuse, um, uh, confusion in my mind All right. When it comes to cue card, as soon as you complete the part one of speaking, examiner is going to hand over a question prompt, just like the way you see on the screen there, and okay. you will have a minute's time to prepare, where you could make notes and you start cooking up all the story there. You have a provision to do so when it comes to IELTS. So it's just okay. your language that they're going to be checking. So you get creative, cook up a story within that time frame. you supposed okay. to be speaking on this topic and while you do so you're supposed to answer all the questions or all the bullet points rather you need to okay. include responses if not in sequence too that's okay 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 i got it. thank you so much thank you welcome to so there were some words which were repeated multiple times dear okay so what we will do is as always when we make notes when we even before we start speaking on the topic we will have at least two or three similar words handy so that we could you know replace in case there is a need to use the same word uh, i am not a person who uh, actually enjoys reading but uh, uh, i remember that in uh, when there was covid 19 uh, i ordered one book online and uh, i read that book the name of the book was uh, 
you know, it's a life. It's not a diet. It's a lifestyle. I have read this book during COVID nineteen in twenty twenty. Um, this book is all about uh, losing weight and uh, maintaining a healthy lifestyle. Uh, I have. I found this book so exciting because I came to know about this book through a Facebook group in which uh, there is a UK based Pakistani dietitian called named Freha J. Uh, she is really a marvelous person and uh, she always enjoy helping others. She has published her book. So I ordered it online and I read it, um, uh, this book. I found it exciting because uh, there were a lot of things and uh, many myths in my mind got busted by reading this book because I was working from home. So it was really helpful for me because I've, I had gained um, a couple of pounds and I wanted to shed them off. So uh, I read this book and uh, it made me um, so much conscious about myself, my health, and I got to know what I should eat or not eat uh, during a day. Mm, although um, it was not as thorough as I wanted, but it gave me a platform and a clear instructions about using and eating all of the food items and never skipping a meal. So I found it exciting that I can eat everything uh, while maintaining my weight. Okay, thank you so much, Rekha. Mama, comment on your speaking. Yes, dear. Uh, see, when you read a book, when you're talking about the benefits of the same, instead of saying, I actually gained a lot of things from this, a lot of knowledge, whatever, let's be more specific. You could be giving us, you know, firstly, this is what I took. You know, majorly, I concentrated on this. This is my, you know, okay. takeaway kind. Secondly, or later, this is what. So please, because this is cue card here, you have ample amount of time as well. And let us have in points, you know, firstly, secondly, and let's start explaining. You have spoken about, you know, gaining, sorry, losing weight and all of that instructions. So lexical resource was okay. You have been making conscious effort to use conjunctions as well, which is a good thing. So all the very best. Thank you. You're welcome. So if Rika, ma'am, you want, if you can give, you know, the members who, who who spoke today, if you could give them a bit of advice of what they have to do on the day of the exam, especially with the cue card. Yes. See, when we are actually preparing for IELTS speaking, I've been telling you, I, I don't know if we have focused on this. Let's start using the right combination of words. There is something called, when time permits, I would request you to Google this word called this collocations. When we talk about, you know, have a shower, have breakfast, when we use this, why we should be using have? When we talk about make an appointment, not take an appointment, make a decision. These are very small things, but it is going to hamper your scores. So when time permits, please Google and learn what are collocations. And it is very clearly mentioned in your IELTS parameter that when you use collocations, it is going to add on to your existing score. It would look rather attractive.